Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today we're going to be showing you how to create and send invoices on PayPal. This is a PayPal invoicing tutorial where you're going to learn step by step how to build, set up and create those easy invoices to get those fast payments on your PayPal business account. So that's going to be diving into here in today's video. And of course, I will leave links down below in the video description if you do want to check out PayPal and go ahead and get set up with PayPal as well. Again, links are down below in the video description if you'd like to follow along with this tutorial. So a quick overview of what PayPal uh, invoicing even is in the first place is you're able to accept payments through PayPal and create those invoices in your small business. Now it's important also to keep in mind with PayPal invoicing is that you can also send these online invoices uh, invoices to customers that don't actually even use PayPal and then they can pay those invoices with any kind of preferred payment method as you can see here uh, even if they don't have an account with PayPal we'll get into all the different types of payment methods that they can use in just a second here as well as the fees that come along with PayPal invoicing uh, and then we'll take a deep dive into how to actually create invoicing uh, invoices as well once you've actually set up your PayPal business account so as you can see here this is like a general overview of what the PayPal invoice will look like and the amount Amount due. Uh, if you scroll down here, as we can see, they have unlimited invoicing. There is no monthly subscription fee as well. So you're only paying the fee when you're actually getting paid by your customer uh, with PayPal invoicing as well. So do keep that in mind. Uh, now, in terms of the different types of payment methods that you're able to accept, you're able to accept credit and debit cards, installment payments, uh, Venmo, as well as Apple Pay. So you're able to offer all those different payment services uh, for your customers. And as you can see, it's just like a general overview of sort of what it looks like. You can also send reminders, uh, record payments, share links, and cancel invoices uh, as well. I'm going to be showing you, of course, step by step how to go through actually creating it as well uh, and sending it to a uh, customer what that process looks like. And these are the fees. Now, these are subject to change. So depending on when you're watching this video, this may be different. Be sure to check out PayPal's uh, pricing page and invoicing page to get the most realistic and up-to-date fees. Uh, but there again, there's no monthly setup fees and you're only paying when you get paid. And this is the fees, as you can see, are 3.49% for PayPal and Venmo, plus 0.49 cents per transaction. Uh, pay later is a little bit more expensive because there's a little bit more risk on the payment processor uh, for PayPal, plus a 49 cent per transaction and still 49 cent per transaction. And then 2.99% on debit cards, credit cards, and Apple Pay. So it is the cheapest actually if customers pay uh, via credit card, debit card, or Apple Pay for you uh, as the business owner. Those are the three options that are available within PayPal invoicing. Uh, now, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into PayPal invoicing. Of course, you can use this on a variety of different types of businesses. As you can see here, for example, like home services, health, wellness, fashion, education, or even business services. That's what I've used PayPal invoicing for myself. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into things. Now, when you go into your PayPal dashboard, of course, you first need to create a PayPal account. Now I am using a PayPal business account, uh, which is what you would likely need to use in order to get access to invoicing and in order to do this properly for your business is make sure if you have a PayPal personal account, convert it to a PayPal business account, make sure you're on a PayPal business account because uh, then you're going to get all the proper business tools that you would need, including the invoicing functionality. So once you've gone in, you've created your PayPal account, maybe you've switched a personal to a business account, you're on a PayPal business account, then you can come here on the homepage here from PayPal. Uh, you're gonna come up here to the top and click under sales and then underneath sales channels, you're gonna click on invoices. This will take you over to the invoice creation page, which is where you can go in and easily create those invoices for PayPal and to get paid by your customers. Uh, so and, and this is different from their payment links. I do have a separate tutorial on that as well if you are interested in that. But getting set up with an invoice can also make things look a little bit more professional in your business and just it gives you the option to add a lot more detailed information uh, when you're sending out those invoices to get paid by customers. Uh, so you can add a lot more information to that. In terms of what you can add here, I get it's a little bit, a lot going on here. So first, what you're going to want to do is enter in who you're actually billing. Uh, so you can select the customer name or email. You can either type in the customer name. Uh, or email. Now, I already have a few different customers in here to use as an example. We're just going to go ahead and go with this dummy one uh, for Joe Schmo as the customer name. You could alternatively also add additional recipients. Uh, so you can send it to multiple different people as well. Maybe if you want to CC people on an invoice, you can add multiple emails there. Uh, you can also add other customers or just type in their email address there as well. Uh, on the right-hand side, you'll see a live preview 
value here for the invoice as far as what it looks like. And then on the left here is where you're actually going to enter in uh, what they're paying for. So you want to add the item name. So you can go ahead and click create new item. Now this could be either a good or a service. So if it's a good, a good would be defined as something that typically you're going to be shipping to the somebody. Uh, so do keep that in mind because PayPal does also offer the ability to set up like shipping labels and things like that. Uh, if you are going to be shipping these products, but if you're not going to, I would recommend clicking on maybe the services area. Uh, it, it could also either way, you don't necessarily have to ship ship something uh, on here as well. But I did just want to make that distinction here as to select goods or services. It does change the naming of things too. So instead of the quantity and price per unit, uh, you have the hours and then the rate per hour on services. So, I mean, depending on how you want to label things, you really could honestly go with either one. Uh, we'll just stick to uh, services, I guess. So maybe like uh, for the name here, we're going to go ahead and type in uh, lawn care. Uh, so we're going to go with lawn care and the rate here, we're going to go for $100 for an hour of lawn care, something like that. Maybe you had to do a lot of extra work. You can also add in additional taxes, discounts, uh, and the date as well here. If you want to add that additional information, you also have the option to select the currency here. So you could select USD um, and a variety of different currencies. You know, PayPal has a lot of currencies to select from here, depending on what country you're in or the country that you want to maybe send this invoice to. Maybe if you want to make it um, change it to their currency that is native to them. Uh, then you can also add a description in here as well. That is optional. You don't necessarily have to do that. You also don't have to add a tax discount uh, and date, but if you want to add a discount or a tax that you need to add, you can also do that here. So we're just going to go with no tax. Uh, you can also add in a discount. You can create a discount as well as now I know my camera might be covering part of this here in the bottom right hand corner, but you also have the option to select the date. Uh, as to maybe when the service was completed. So you could pick like, okay, um, this is like a specific date here as to when the service was completed. Uh, and you can add that there as well. You can also add, edit the item info here if you want to save that, or you can also save it for future invoices too. Uh, so it makes it quicker for you to go through and type in what a customer is paying for. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and click add to add that to the invoice. And then as you can see here on the right hand side, uh, we do have the uh, invoice preview. So we have the company logo here, which is just my name. We have Valeski Enterprises. We have the invoice uh, number as well as the issue date and the due date, as well as now the dollar amount is appearing there along with the item who it's being billed to. So their name and email and the item is the lawn care at one for a hundred dollars. You can also up the uh, hours here if you want to change it to like two. As you can see, then that price is automatically updated here. Maybe if you want to update the rate, uh, maybe $120 and then it's two hours of um, maybe we'll call this like intensive lawn care or something if you want to do that. Um, but we're going to go ahead and select that there. You can also add additional items here as well. Maybe if you want to create new items, you can do that there. If you want to add multiple different items on a singular invoice, you can do that very easily there. Uh, if you want to add multiple items, you can also opt to, if you need to ship the items, you can add an address that you are going to be uh, shipping these items to. Uh, you can also opt not to ship items if it's not necessarily like a shippable item. Um, so you have that option there as well. You can also add other charges. This could be um, an additional like service fee or something like that. So maybe we add a service fee uh, and we charge like, I don't know, $3, something pretty cheap. Maybe we add that service fee and then you can see that there. Boom, service fee, $3. Uh, and it's added to the invoice in the subtotal. As you can see, it now has 243 instead of just 240. You could also edit and add uh, other fee, other discounts here if you want to add discounts, things like that. Uh, service fee is probably what most people would probably put here or any other additional type of uh, cost that you want to just add, maybe a, a shipping fee or something. You can put that there too. Uh, depending on how you're going about doing things. You can also add uh, payment terms here. If you need to add specific payment terms, maybe you could allow partial payment if you want to opt for that. You can also enable tips here uh, by clicking allow tip, let the customer add a tip to the payment. So if this is more of like a service type business that you're running, uh, you have that option for customers to be able to enter in their own tips if you want to allow that. I know for most professional businesses, uh, most customers would laugh at the fact that you're like, why would I tip you for this service? Like this is what you're charging me, right? But if you are in like a more customer service based business, 
uh, you might want to allow tip and then, hey, you might make some extra money by someone wants to tip you for your services. Maybe if you're a DJ or something where it's more like you're in the wedding venue space or something like that, maybe it would make more sense to allow tips just so that you could um, also get tipped on your services here, depending on if that's maybe standard for your industry or business. You can also add additional notes and information here for your customer. You can add a terms and conditions, a reference number, as well as a memo to self. Uh, you can also upload files here as well. So if you need to add a JPEG, a GIF, if you want to add maybe a PDF or something you need to attach here, uh, you can also do that there. And if you want to see what it looks like then on different types of devices, you also have the mobile preview. So this is what it would look like uh, on mobile as you can see here we have the logo the name of the company amount due and then the total and then the add tip option is shown here on mobile pretty easy to see what that looks like and then you have the different payment methods so you got paypal venmo pay later paypal pay later apple pay as well as a debit or credit card and then this is what that total would look like um, for your customers here uh, they'll see all the details there so pretty easy to get set up with uh, PayPal invoices. You also have the email preview. This is what it will look like on e via email. Now, if you do want to edit your company information, PayPal does also make that pretty easy. All you have to do is come up here to more actions and you can either uh, opt to share the link to the invoice, save this as a draft, uh, edit the business info. If you need to maybe edit some of your personal business information, maybe an address or something like that too. Or if you want to edit or add the logo, you can also do that here as well as saving a template. Maybe if you do end up putting like a lot of information into your invoices, or you sort of have like a standard uh, that you send to most people for a specific product or service, you could also save templates here too. Uh, and then all you have to do is click this blue send button. Now I'm not going to be sending this because this is just a, a, a dummy email. This might actually be somebody's email for all I know. Um, but that is essentially how you go about creating an invoice on PayPal. Once you have it made, all you have to do is click share the link to the invoice and your customer will see this invoice and it will be ready to pay. And then the money will automatically be deposited directly to your PayPal account uh, as well from these PayPal invoices. So that money will accrue in your PayPal business account. So it's important to notice that there, if you do want to transfer that money out of your PayPal account, you do have to link a external bank account as well to your PayPal account. If you want to transfer that money from your PayPal account to your actual business bank account, or even just a personal bank account as well. Um, you do have to go through that process as well. Uh, but that's essentially how you go about creating invoices in PayPal. Pretty easy stuff here. A uh, lot of nice details that you can add to invoices now in PayPal. And again, this is the updated version of PayPal invoices. They've made a lot of changes recently to make it a lot nicer, sleeker, and honestly, pretty comparable to a lot of even some of the paid invoicing tools that are out there on the market. So PayPal invoicing, pretty good setup. I get that maybe the payment processing fees are you know, maybe a little bit higher than some other companies out there. But honestly, even just for credit card and pet, uh, debit card, it is nice to be able to offer that you accept PayPal as well as all those other payment options. And it is still fairly comparable in terms of the payment processing fees to a lot of other vendors out there. The one downside I would say to PayPal invoicing is they don't offer the ACH payment transactions. Um, but if you're already just using PayPal anyway, and you just want a simple way, very easy way to send an invoice to your customer, this can be a great way to go about doing it. So guys, I hope you found this PayPal invoicing tutorial helpful. Again, this is pretty much how you just go ahead, set up these invoices, you click the send button and boom, it goes right to your customer. If you need to edit anything, you can come back here and you know change the dollar amounts and easily, quickly and effortlessly send it right to your customer. And if you need to get that link, you can share the link and then maybe send them that over text or something like that as well. Uh, so guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Again, at PayPal invoicing. If you do want to get set up with PayPal and PayPal invoicing, you go check out those links linked down below in the video description. If you guys found this video helpful or enjoy, enjoyed it, then be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, that's all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.